Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison here. Uh, we do have the Samsung Galaxy Note 4's TouchWiz UI here, and then we do have Android 5.0 Lollipop here uh, on the Nexus 5, uh, which is the current uh, latest Nexus device that's all on the market right now. Yes, Nexus 6 is going to come out pretty soon. Uh, but uh, they do have some lot of, some similarities here, especially in the multitasking area, uh, where you will be able to see kind of same kind of um, cards. So let's just open up some stuff here, like the the Play Store. Let's open up the phone app, and uh, mm, what a more calendar maybe or calculator. Calculator and maybe the settings app. Oops, there we go. So you can see now when I go into both. Um, uh, the view here for multitasking, you can see here, as I said, they both have this kind of cool card view. There's a lot of similar, is simil similar. And now, Android and the Lollipop is not out right now for the Nexus or for the Note 4, I mean, but it is going to come out here pretty soon, probably in like uh, December. Uh, so it's pretty cool here still that with Android Phone 4, you still get that kind of similar view uh, in, in, the, in that little area. Of course, you have still a lot of touch with elements that looks different here compared to Android 5.0. Uh, like when we go down like this, uh, you can see here, you, you still have a, a toggles here and a, a brightness slider, but it definitely looks different. And But it's still gonna look a little bit like this in Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's not gonna look like this, which is a stock version here of, um, of what Android 5.0. And I kind of enjoy it that you have more toggles in here uh, than what you do get in the stock version here of Android. It's a little bit boring, I think. Uh, I like more. I like more options there. Uh, settings here still both have like a white menu and both looks uh, pretty pretty similar here in in you know I think uh, a lot of people don't like TouchWiz. I really ha don't have a problem with TouchWiz UI. Uh, it probably could look a little bit better, but overall, I'm pretty pretty satisfied with it. Uh, so you can see here Wi-Fi. You can see a lot of similarities here. How how it looks um, overall. Let's see, can we do it like this? Hold in here, and here you can swipe. You can also see a lot of similarities in here. Uh, you have the widget settings, you have the wallpaper settings, and then you have another little settings area here uh, for for your home screens and, and stuff like that. So that is definitely kinda cool over there. Uh, let's see here. Of course, there's a lot of internal differences here. Of course, the the um, the Note 4 is, is pretty cool because it comes with a pen. So it has a, a software here that will take advantage of that, which definitely is one of the more cool things with this, not, with this smartphone. And sensitivity here in the pen uh, also has been improved so much and uh, I really really do enjoy it. Uh, that, that's also the weird thing with the new Nexus 6 that's gonna come out soon. It's like it's way bigger, it's bigger screen than the Note 4 uh, but it doesn't come with like cool software uh, or a pen uh, and it kind of feels like you know you want something cool like that and also here you can take a quick little picture And then quickly go into an edit mode here, where you can like paint on the image. I mean, this is so much creativity stuff here you can do uh, with the Note 4, which I find a little bit more interesting uh, than than just the stock uh, stock Android experience. But yeah, just a quick little side by side look here. I mean, just a it's just a there quick little look. There, of course, is a lot of similarities on both these two devices uh, as well. But you can see here how like the lock or boot down screen looks. Uh, also a little bit boring here in Android 5.0, uh, where you don't have an other options like restart or emergency mode or airplane mode. Uh, 
maybe they will change that in the future. Uh, let's see here how volume up and down looks. Here you do have the option to change between all these different And here it looks a little bit different in the audio department there, uh, which is interesting. Of course, both also on the lock screen have a lot of similarities that you quickly can launch things like the camera, uh, if you want to do that. Let's see here, can we quickly launch the phone here though? Now you don't have a phone option here on the Note 4 to quickly launch the phone, but of course you can have like widgets on the lock screen, I'm pretty sure. But here you already have it from, from the stock there uh, on the lock screen, quick access there to the phone. You also some pretty cool new animations. Uh, I think it's pretty more awesome here in Android Fogment though. Uh, like you can see here when this one goes down, here you don't have that option. And you can also see there in, in settings, they have some animations when you go up and down, like it bumps in there into the top. I'm really not not like super big fan of it, but uh, it could be pretty cool. You have a little bit of effect of that also here on the Note 4, but uh, not like a major, 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 major thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, are you looking forward to Android 5.0? Android 5.0 definitely will be some interesting stuff when it uh, will come out here for everyone. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day.